Whoever wins this match right now gets all the glory. The person who loses the match gets none of the glory, and the two people in the middle get a medium amount of glory equal to the amount of work that they contributed. It's like a Goldilocks thing, except instead of oatmeal or beds or chairs, it's glory. We've got a Mitgo Commander match. It's Jake versus Joel. Let's play some little Commander. Let's play some little Commander. Let's play some Commander. Let's find some commanders and we are going to play them. Highest level of gratitude to our patrons who power the channel through Patreon. Check out the Patreon link in the description to learn about monthly giveaways, VIP Discord access, and even our official playmat. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel are Magic. Instead, in this one, it's Jake versus Joel are Magic. We are still working on that title. We are Jake playing some commanders. Jake versus Joel with Magic. Jake versus Joel versus Magic. Jake versus Joel versus Magic. I like that. I think that we should play some commander, so that's what we're going to do. Our theme for this week is revisiting our OG commanders. I'm playing Uriel the Mist Stalker. Jake's playing Karavik the Merciless. We've been playing against each other since college with these commanders. Also in the game, you're going to see we've got Food Time, one of our patrons, and Jeremy, one of our patrons. They're playing Niv Mizzet and Prosh, respectively. Let's Food get Time, into our longtime moderator. Oh, yeah. Food Time, our longtime moderator. Let's get into the game. Let's get some opening hands here and get this going. Food Time. I'm going fourth. We've got our, we've got some wonderful patrons that have joined us for the game today. Food time brought Niv Mizzet, the Firemind. Jeremy, who's go on now get, brought Prosh. Like we said, Jake's got Kiravik and I'm on Uriel. We're revisiting our OG commanders. Jake and I have been playing against each other, playing Kiravik and Uriel for some time. Opening hand is strong here. Quite uh, some time. We do have the Havoc Festival. We also have the uh, Opal Palace. We have Worn Power Stone. This is going to be a, a nice mana rock. Help us get to big mana. That's the big thing about Karavik is we're trying to get to big mana. The disc is kind of a nombo with the Worn Power Stone, but we're going to play around it and see if maybe we can get the disc out first. But this is definitely a keep. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this one. Yeah, I'm keeping. Open, opener seems fine. Sort of against my better judgment, I'm going to keep this one. I've got Ooh, the soul ring. Tower. Jake so can't nice. hear me right now. I've got the soul ring. I got my green and red. Cycling Definitely need white. Forgotten cave. Okay. This deck is very white and green heavy. So it's kind of a bummer starting without a white right off the rip. But we got some card draws before we start getting there. All Would right. have loved a mana door. Would have loved some ramp. Patrons. Thanks so much, guys, for uh, helping us out on this one. We'll see how it goes jumping on in here to play some games this is yeah fun. thanks to the patrons appreciate that jake are you ready for some hardcore jake v joel action i think so i think i am i'm gonna try and start it off with a bang here no, oh, no. What does Joel have? A, a soul ring? Speak the name of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> Brutal. A little T1 soul ring. Not a bad start. It does. It is always so brutal to play against a turn one soul ring because now Joel can go online with any turn four uh, spell on turn two which is just especially brutal what he doesn't know and what he can't hear me say is that i don't have a turn four right now um you know i've got some auras i've got a get out of jail free card on my uh on my permanence and i've got a sun titan which I really don't want to see until late so we'll see how this goes got the turn two maybe. zulaport cutthroat over here from jeremy you may be like uh Maybe like, why am I tapping out? It's just to save time. See, all that's going to happen is people are going to see me play my soul ring and then have nothing to play to back it up. 
Oh, this is a, a tactic. This is just a political tactic. Right. Definitely. And political not that, tactics. Not that my deck is mostly green, white, and I don't have a single white man on the battlefield. That couldn't be it. It's a tactic. No, you do not. You do not have white mana over there. This is a Grohl deck. Where Where is the commander? I do need to see the commander. It is Ural. How many times visit. have you played against my Ural deck? It's been a minute. It's been a so, while, yeah, for I, sure. I, I actually, for some reason, thought you were playing Prush. So I needed to take a look at the commander. Yeah, you do need white mana. Jeremy's on Prush. So well, as the we can see right swing. now, my... Uh, Here comes the cutthroat. Right now, all the... All the land I'm drawing. Coming at me. This is going to be good because Karavik is big mana. So question right now is, do I take the next turn off? And I think that I do. I think we save that Worn Power Stone and we get the disc out the turn after. It seems like everything is kind of going slow right now. So might be the way to go. I wish that Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth was turning everything into planes. No, maybe we need to just get the Warren Power Stone out and save the disc if shit really gets out of control and sacrifice the Power Stone. A bit of a Warren Power Stone. Now you're caught up on mana. Catching up a little bit. That's my jank soul ring. It just comes into play tapped. It costs three. <laughs> jank soul ring is the correct terminology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All this man and I'm getting locked out because of colors, bro. Well, we'll see. You just it's a need tactic. to draw into one one cultivate or something. My tactic is online. not draw the colors of mana I need. Right. All right. Niv Mizzet getting in here. Food time casting storm kiln artist. Let's go ahead and read this card. It's plus one plus zero for each artifact you control and has magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a treasure token. All right. So that's a nice little little way to uh oh grave pact get some treasure going oh grave pact with the old art love it love to see it hardcore enchantments that is a good card all right so i guess the move then We just go yes we do when in Rome right why not all right havoc festival is gonna do some work here gonna take Joel down to 19 oh man I love this card so much this one is over I got to play some lands and some mana rocks that was a lot of fun I had, really, play lands. had a fun one. That was a good one. Got to sit here while Jake played mana to get to Havoc Festival. End of game. <laughs> well, it uh, it's not over yet. It's going to hit me too. See, the thing about... Uh, or actually... See, the thing about Havoc Festival is it's the kind of card where you want to resolve this and if you can't do anything about it as an opponent you just let it hit the next person you really only want to answer it if you can do it right before it's your turn at this point between being completely off my second i mean my main color of mana which is white and um grave pact i'm pretty much effectively out of this game already i've got a handful of creatures that i can't play yeah, at this point, we might see, like, a Cyclonic Rift that could be a kind of reset. All right, Havoc Festival taking some damage. 
get in. Oh, oh it, it burns. It burns so nice. All right, we'll just go like this and then I guess let's, let's do it. Possible that we're going to get some counter here. This is a nice lock if we can resolve it. However, blue, it does it does happen yeah so the move here was going worn power stone this was definitely the way to go um the mana crypt gonna hurt joel here a little bit possibly and then havoc festival gonna get in for some damage as well want a coin flip but not a land coin flip. It looks like maybe Niven Ural's disc isn't going to matter much here. We'll see. But definitely the right move to get the Havoc Festival out. Playing around the blue mana. This will be an interesting game if we do have... Uh, something nuke the board because it's just going to be all of us playing around very low life total seeing who can punch in for some damage first yeah we'll see that is a chaos warp um how much do we care about the cutthroat i guess I guess we'll shoot Stormkin. Get that treasure out of here. And it is going to be Havoc Festival that gets Chaos Warped. That is the move. And it's a strip mine of all things. Um, as far as how I'm feeling about my hand chat, um, these are all the cards that I would play if I had mana to. Five out of six of the cards in my hand require white. Three out of six require double white. So I'm miles off from being able to participate here. That is a doubling season, and that is going to be five damage. Ooh, baby. Yeah, it's going to... It's going to be face. Doubling season is going to come out. Ervik is going to do some damage to the face. See big Urborg over there. That might be worth hitting. Especially if there's like a big mana mana doubler. This is that move, and then I guess we will go online. Our buddy here. Right. Kervik deck is giving you the greatest hits tonight. Getting some getting some of the greatest hits. That's a good way to describe it. Very much like the greatest hits. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pass, though. Um, so we do 
Swing. Coming at Jeremy here. Getting in. Wait, does that have death touch? Oh, okay. Thank God. Negative. Oh, but. Oh, no. That's right. No. Grave packed on the smack back. <sighs> Whoops. Whoops. That happened. It's <laughs> over. Whoopsie, 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 whoopsie. So that chat is what you call a play mistake. Karavik had the game effectively locked. I needed to just let him sit there. Take three for my mana crypt. This game has gone very poorly for me. I haven't really played commander. I have you one, have, two coin flips. You have played some lands. Wow. My first white mana. Everyone rejoice. Oh, this is going to be wild. Yeah, it's gonna be like a. It's gonna be wild how, your life how quickly it eats a grave pact and just dies on Jeremy's turn. Who knows? I do. <laughs> it's gonna die to grave pact almost immediately. Maybe. Who am I the most excited to use Chaos Wand on? Oh, I suppose I should probably mute myself for this. Mm, there's a lot of good options for Chaos Wand. I do like the fact that we have pretty much every color to choose from. If we want to try to go for some well, sort of... Well, we got of, to play um, some stuff. Kind of. With Grave Pact on the battlefield, like I said, this is... We've we've lost. The Earl deck needs to play oh, some man, early creatures, mana dorks and such. Rough. That is already rough looking over there. Grave Pact is on the battlefield. I have nothing on my side of the battlefield. Yeah, but you can kill me in one hit. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm not two. going to have a possible, possible chance of surviving. I don't know. You give that thing lifelink and you're right back in the game, though. And I'm sure that you have some sort of aura that gives it that. Somewhere. It's got to be floating around in there somewhere. Some angelic destiny. That might not have lifelink, does it? I don't think it does. Flying first strike. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, cast a flame breather deals one damage to each opponent. Okay. All right, yeah, each opponent fun. card. I like that. Havoc Festival came out, got some life totals down, and now we are actually playing some commander here. Oh, that big oof with Karavik. A lesson to you. Always read the cards. Grave Pact is on the battlefield. Should have never ever done that. Okay, so that's Endric Sar. Looks like Jeremy is off red as well. Not a great showing for the three color decks. Let's see what we get. We're rolling the dice. 
Gain control of all creatures with power four or greater until end of turn and tap those creatures. Gain control of all creatures with power three or greater, three or less until end of turn and tap those creatures. Okie dokie. Sick. Um, sweet. That's all right. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad you didn't strip mine my white mana. Oh no, that would be nice, right? That would be. That's not. That that's not the right move. word. That's not that the right word. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so. I'm at eight. <laughs> Jeremy's like, what? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. I just have not been able to do anything. Um, there we go. I just watched a short where... I just watched a short where everyone was encouraged to remove Dark Steel Ingot from their deck and put in some card Honored from Arrow. Crimson Vow. I know, right? That was that was Jake Short, y'all. That was Jake Short. I suppose uh, the thing is, is like, oh, I'll, I'll say this, and uh, while well, we're muted, all right, so. I wanted to get Karavik out there, but the thing is, is that blue mana, there has to be like a counter spell hanging out. And I know that Karavik is going to be one of the biggest things that we can do here. Uh, and I just want to make sure that it doesn't get countered. So I would like to wait until like maybe food time casts a niv -Mizzet or something like that. We'll see. I have no way out. My only survival. Just making sure you haven't heard any of my asides, right? Nope. No, I have not. And I'm in the middle of an aside right now. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm just doing an aside. The thing is, is my only escape is Guardian of Faith. And I still only have one white mana. So I guess I just go ham here and hope that nothing makes me sacrifice Earl. I guess that's what I do. I just drop Indric Umbra on it and say, let's go. Let's go. We're going to try some stuff, Jake. Yeah, it looks like it. You just better not swing it at me. Let's just say that. Well, don't have a lot of choice. This is my big, this is my big miss stalker. Coming at you for 18. Oh, you are coming at me? That's my best option. Yeah, I should have just killed you last turn. I held off on barter with blood. I'm never doing it again. I was trying to be nice. I'm never doing it again. Never doing it again. You have barter and blood in your hand? Yep. Never ever doing it again. It will always be foot to throat. It was foot to throat pretty much that entire game. That is what you get when you try to be nice. Don't ever, ever be nice in a game of Commander. I'll edit that aside later and see. <laughs> see what he said it's just to me. me saying never, <laughs> it's just me saying never to be nice. Don't ever be nice in a game of Commander. That's that's advice. Yeah, because you're going to let Food Time kill me with the Kessig, so I'll be the first one out. <laughs> <sighs> and I should have just strip bind your white mana.
pretty brutal game. Well, you made me feel bad for like it's my it's eliminating my fault. you. Yeah, you go, oh never mind. It doesn't matter. I should have just killed you. I should have killed Ural. Oh, that's a sphinx. Jeremy's been off red, hasn't been able to get Prosh on the battlefield. But the threat of Grave Pact. <laughs> Should have just strip mined the white mana like a good player and not been nice. Because look where it got me. Politicked me all the way to fourth place. This is what you you seriously chat if you're watching never ever let somebody get in your head about taking the win. Just take it. Just get the win. My advice is getting people's heads about letting them take the win. Yep. Two seems, different seems two like different the sides of the same coin, I guess. Food time trying to decide whether to kill you with an attack on the Kessig right there. I mean, he can. He should. Ignoble also creating a thrall. Interesting. We I, I am like so tilted right now. It's just like Jeremy but Jeremy will have this is the problem though. Access is that to red mana I have now. always been the kind of player where I, I try to have a good time and I try to like let people live, and that's how you lose games. You just kill people. When you have a chance to kill them, you kill them. You can take them off white mana using a strip mine and then it's gonna put them behind and tilt them. Just do it. It is a cutthroat world and I got killed for trying to be nice. Ooh, there's a lot going on on Jeremy's board now. Consecrated Sphinx value is already there. Just going to get worse. Looks like I will go down to five. Man. All right. I'm going to go to one. I'm already at one. Anything and I'm dead. That art on these thrill tokens looks awesome. Yeah, those are definitely like nightmare creatures. Oh, am I dead? Ugh. Oh, he is keeping me around. Oh, never mind. I see with the exalted, he couldn't swing with the the other guy. All right, so at this point, Chad, I'm trying to think, what can I possibly do to get out of this? I could just play Karavik, but I don't think that's going to be the way to go. Um, clearly, the move is to barter and blood here, but then I think that that might just give Jeremy the game. So we got to think, what can we possibly do? 
Consecrated Sphinx triggering again. And I don't really know Third what hand it is, is going that to we be can do. By the time his turn begins. So I could just play Sulfuric Vortex. Hit everybody for a little bit. Joel is pretty much dead. All right, I'm trying to figure out what to do with my final turn here. I've heard you have a barter in blood in your hand. Yeah, I just don't think that that's going to do it at this point. I thought about it. There's just... Oh... Trying to think of any possible way that I could get out of this mess. And I don't think that there is one. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't think that I can. And we'll just, I guess, YOLO <laughs> and try to clean up the board. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Black. Red. This is probably the wrong move, but we'll see. That's a Karavik. It is probably the wrong move. The wrong move was forever ago when I swung at the Zula Park cutthroat. <laughs> that was definitely the wrong move. I believe you had it in hand for sure. See if this puts me at two. Yep. First oh, move I lost. should have played. I should have played the sulfuric vortex. Well, it doesn't matter. No, I mean it's uh, my game has been over so so long, dog. My one thing I was able to do was get you to one and cause a little mini rage. That was pretty much my contribution. Well, I am dead. I'm one million percent dead. I would say cast something big so that I can try to burn one of these guys down before. Uh, uh, it's tough, man. I, my entire hand, I need white mana. So I get to cast one thing now. I've just been absolutely facing the mana screw. Really? My I'm living on the edge hope. here. Living on the edge. On the razor's edge. Now Karavik is out. You, they should have just killed me. Should have just taken me out. They let you get in their head. No, they didn't. Hear you me. did it. <laughs> they could not hear me. You used my tactic. Sit I there was, and get in their head. I was at one. That's your own morality. That wasn't me. That's your own morality speaking. Don't yeah. blame me for your morality. Yeah, sometimes it's best to just foot to throat. It's all right. I've settled into being at one at this point. It is what it is. <laughs> Good. I do kind of wish I had like, I don't know, some sort of Phyrexian on life type effect. I am going to go ahead and take a punch here. Take a shot. Try and see if we can deal with the player who most directly threatens my creature, my board. Nope. 
No response. Uril. Oh my god, killed him. Uril with a KO. <laughs> now oh my I'm goodness. So dead. All right, at so least, yeah. At least I got a kill. Food time at this point just needs to cast a non creature spell. <laughs> Seriously, we're on the razor's edge here. <laughs> to kill me, and all he has to do is swing over top. But yeah. he just played the Consecrated, is that right? Oh, it's your turn right now. It's I still my turn, still my turn. I'm trying to see if there's anything, any possible thing that is going to get me out of this, and I don't think there is. You could, like, strip his... He's got 10 cards in hand. He's going to have an 11th card in hand. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Well, this game has definitely been a weird one. Here you go. This will let you kill the... Either me... You have two choices in your hands. One... You murder me for all of my transgressions against humanity. Two, you murder the thing that's going to let him one hit kill you and instead the consecrated sphinx kills you. <laughs> okay. The question is, food time is going to figure out who does he want to kill? <laughs> I'm at two. Jake's at one. Three damage to each opponent. That's five mana. Oh, God. What's he going to do? Tell him to turn whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell. That player copies it and may choose new targets. All right. He's got okay. 10 life to kill you or me. Go care of it. Go. Go care of it. Go. Bro, if one white mana Uriel limps to a victory here. This is going to be weird. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going, dude. This is going to get weird. It's the Seder. Oh God, I I that might be a play mistake. Maybe that needed to be me killing you. I mean, I think right here, food time is going to kill you. You get to untap and have another turn to deal two damage to me. Yeah, food time right now is trying to figure out how to win the game, I think. Right. Don't get to... You don't get to do the copies. I'm trying to figure out if there's any way on this planet that I can win this game, and I don't think that there is. My goal is to just cast this Sulfuric Vortex, try to lock it down, and see if that's going to be enough. Oh my god. No! I think that's it. I think that's going to be enough. I mean, you're at one. No! Grape shot. What a grape shot. All right. That aces you and then consecrated sw swings over my <laughs> my blocker. Okay. Okay. That's good <laughs> karma for you, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Essence of Jake in. summed up in 15 <laughs> seconds right there, everybody. He took me to one. This was the proper, this is at least the one thing I could do. All right, that's, that's pretty much it. 
I think he's killing us both anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well. Oh, GG's. I think in the future yeah, we don't one. invite Karavik back to a recorded game session. No. I don't think Karavik is ever allowed back. Karavik ended up doing 60 damage. What a game. Through Havoc Festival. And then every other damage that Karavik no, actually did. The only thing did. was that it resolved a, a turn four Havoc Festival. Which is not the kind of thing that typically happens. Brutal. Well, that one was quite interesting with some swings. I basically didn't play most of the game and then punched you in the face for 18. That's right. And I was, um, I had one misplay that was swinging the Karavik at uh, Jeremy Zulaport Cutthroat. That ended up being a big problem with the Grave Pact on the battlefield. Uh, the moral of the story, and I'm sure that you've seen this in the asides by now, is that when you have the game locked down, just go ahead and lock it down. The move right then was A, to not swing with the Karavik against Jeremy against the Grave Pact over there, but then the big thing that lost me the match was not casting the Barter on Blood, and like Joel mentioned, taking him off of the White Source. That would have stopped him from casting that big, bulky enchantment. But it really comes down to a political game of EDH. When you're in that situation, it really comes down to, do I want to create an ally here? Is it worth it to kill Joel? At the end of the game, once Joel had taken me to one, it really wasn't worth it for me to target him. It, at that point, did look like food time was probably going to take the game. And Jeremy had a big board presence as well. So it just shook out the way that it shook out. I ended up getting a little salty, but all in all, it was a very close <laughs> game and it was a lot of fun. We could put that on a t-shirt for you, Jake. I ended up getting a little salty, but it ended up being a lot of fun. I, I love everybody... margaritas, man. Everybody yeah. knows it. There you go. Everybody, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, let us know in the comments if you like this series or not. This is a gameplay thing that we want to keep going if you enjoy it. Jake, what would you that? add? Let yeah. us know in the comments. Is there what something we that we missed? Something that, I you, like that. You, you wish that we would do? We would love to hear about it. It's an experimental thing, and uh, we're going to do it again. It was a lot of fun. It was fun getting to play with some patrons. If you want to get involved in a deeper level, head on into the description of the video. Click that Patreon link and head over there and see if it's a good fit for you. Get involved in a deeper level. Ooh. 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 All right.